Hi and welcome back to the channel. So today we're back down at Tricky Club Lake. Um, now there's anywhere between 50 to 65 fish in here. Um, it is really tricky. It's February. Uh, it's going to be tough. And uh, unfortunately, I've come out third in the draw. There's only three on tonight, but I didn't get the swims I wanted. So um, yeah, I'm going to go have a mid round and see what I can find. And then, like I say, like I say to everyone, always take your time to find the fish first. I know it's February. I know it's unlikely to see something. But it might just be that I see enough to uh, to make a decision on where to fish for the night. So uh, join me now and we'll go for a walk. Okay, so we've settled on this one here. I've done a couple of laps and I've managed to find the, the only fish I've seen show was off these snags over here. So I turn around. And I go just here. It seems to be a natural rubbing spot where they do it every morning, but fish are present. So dispatched out there to uh, bottom baits. Uh, I'm using the crab and crane. And uh, you see a picture of that now. The crab and crane are such a rich, deep um, red color. Um, obviously got loads of fish meal in them. And uh, they're made by NX bait. I'm sponsored by so I'm bound to say that they're good, but the reality is they have done a fantastic job for me in terms of uh, my catch rate, especially through the winter as well. Usually I switch over to a bird food based uh, mix, but I've carried on with the crab and cray because the performance of it's just carried on too. So it just looked like a fish show there, but um, so yeah, so basically if I spin this around, so I've got one where I just showed you, and then I've got where are we just over here, I've got one as well. So uh, again straight on the bottom baits and um, keep things nice and simple little floor carbon bottom baits and um, yeah let's see how we get on i mean it's fish and tough and has been out for a few weeks but i'm fairly confident that we can uh, that we can get something so i'll come back to you for you right guys so uh, nothing as yet but let's have a quick look at the uh, the rig um, i've been using so this is kind of uh, my fluorocarbon wig. Um, in terms of the actual uh, fluorocarbon that I use, I tend to use the, uh, the IQ2 and 20 pound. It just gives me that robustness and obviously keeping that nice visibility factor. So I use a um, perfection loop knot at the bottom, just keeps everything nice and straight. Uh, and then just here, uh, you can see I've just whipped on using a whipping knot and a nice long hair. I like to have good separation on the bait, so when I've got crab and cray bottom bait on there, um, then it, uh, yeah, it performs a lot well. I'm just trying to see what I've done with my baits. Some of them my bag, but, but yeah. Um, again, really steady performer on this one. And um, in terms of the hook, um, Oops, I'm using one of the, um, actually no, I thought I was using my Kamakura, so this isn't a Kamakura, this is just a, a standard size 6 wide gate from Corda. But again, that's the rig I'm using, nothing special, I'm sure you guys could tie that in your sleep, but uh, it seems to keep producing the goods for me. The only difference being is I put a little puppy, puppy? <laughs> Putty just here, uh, just to help kicking it out, but, uh, but yeah. Do you know what? It's cold, it's miserable, everyone's now pulled off the lake, but do you know what? You've got to be into it and you've got to be confident in what you're doing. So straight straight bottom bait on here and uh, that's the crab and cray. Let's see what this one is. 26 and a half pound. Fought like a team and look at that tail. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, yeah, enjoy your fishing. Cheers.